All right, good morning, sports fans. Well, this is a video that's been in the making for a while now. You're going to see two different views today. One you're going to see on the monitor screen here, and the other you're going to see at my uh, Yezu FT450. So we're going to talk about FT8. What exactly is FT8? It's a digital mode that was recently introduced into the amateur radio world. Now, the actual transmission time, we'll say, or the amount of time that the conversation is between your computer through the radio to the other radio to the other computer is less than 15 seconds, believe it or not. I think it's actually uh, 13 seconds with the decode and all that. So I'm going to show you guys here. This is an example of what it is. I'm not an expert on FT8. This is just what I deal with. Now, in the view that you see on the radio, the frequency is 14074, upper sideband. I'm using an XCOMS uh, Yezu digital interface between my radio and my computer here. And we're going to go ahead and open up the program. Now, I'm using WSJTX, um, and that's, that's one of the programs I enjoy. So... Let's go ahead and uh, open that up. So now, if you're looking at the monitor, you'll see that uh, the WJ, WSJ TX comes up. I'm using version 1.8.0. has the waterfall in the background so you can see everything. Um, hopefully it uh, decodes here so we can see something that's going on. Alright, so you can see it's decoding. On the bottom here, you'll see this bar, and it goes for 15 seconds. 15 seconds and then it changes over. Um, we're going to move that over here a little bit, because I like to open up QRZ um, while I'm operating here. I use QRZ because Once I get it open, and use QRZ so I know who is who's calling for what. And I do it just like that. And I normally, if I see a call sign that I haven't heard before, or haven't heard before, haven't seen before, I look it up here. But this is what uh, FT8 sounds like. And you get that for about 15 seconds. It's the same thing as JT65. JT65 lasts about 60 seconds. Um, let's look at that call because I've never seen it before. It's New Jersey. Let's see if it's uh, somebody I've made contact with. And it is not. So our goal here is we're going to do this one right here. So I like to bring it up on the screen. And there. So now I'm actually transmitting uh, through my radio, but with the interface with my computer. And uh, we'll see if they come back with this and see if I can make a contact. And that was it. 15 seconds. Bam. I'm going to turn that back down. Now if he replies, it'll be in red. So I want to be ready. Nope. So I'll wait this next 15 seconds, and what I'm doing down here in the uh, software, it's, it's enabling text. So when the 15 seconds is up, I can text back and um, go from there. Now the first time he didn't hear me, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the same frequency as he is this time, he or she, I, I just say he in general. Okay, so that one's not coming up anymore. So let's look up this N2 X-ray Kilo. Yeah, he's in New Jersey. I'm not quite sure if I've made contact with this one. So we'll go over here. Oops. And it says new. So I haven't made contact with him. So I like to erase my side so I can see what's going on. So we're going to try this one here. This one's in New Jersey. Uh, into uh, X-ray Kilo, and uh, he's got FN20. That's his uh, grid square. Mine's Delta Mike 43, and uh, you'll see it pop up on the screen here. 
what I'll be doing is I'll be enabling the text. Did you not? Every time I click on one, they disappear. Gone. Poof. There he is. So right now, you see it's red on my screen here for the enable text. I have it'll transmit for the I say it's 13 seconds, not the full 15. And uh, it gives the time, universal uh, time, and the frequency. Now, if he got that, he'll respond. Let's hope so. And he didn't. So we'll do it again. And sometimes you got to keep going with it, you know. Okay, so as you can see in this uh, section of the screen here, I've made contact with Whiskey 3 Kilo Mike. Um, in the red, that's his response, and the yellow underneath that, that is my response. And so I sent a negative 12, he sent a negative 15. That's the one that is in um, New Jersey, I believe. Now I'm sending Roger Roger because I already made contact. So he's in Pennsylvania. So I sent Roger 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 stating that I got his information. Hopefully he sends back Roger 73. I'll send back 73 and that ends the QSO. He did. So he sent back 73. I'm sending back 73. And notice that the enable text went away. Normally it would stay red if we didn't finish our conversation. But it's gone now. So I will log this at the beginning at, uh, let's see here, 1612 UTC. Well, let's go over a few things uh, on my configuration stuff. So you can go in the settings here. And I know it's hard to see. But you can put your call sign, your grid, um, and the display. I like to put distance in miles, uh, the text message to RX frequency window. That's how I have it set up. Now, I don't have this set up with my radio. I've left this where it says here, rig. I've put none. So in this program, you can actually use your computer to control your rig uh, for changing frequencies and stuff like that. I don't do that. My audio, I have it all set up. My input and output, which is very important. My TX macros, I don't use these. The reporting, I couldn't use this. I do everything manually because I'm on the computer while I'm doing this. Frequencies, I don't touch. Colors, I did touch at one point. And me being colorblind, I messed everything back. So I set it back to uh, default. In advance, I don't, I don't uh, touch anything. I have the two-pass decoding on, um, and that's about it. The program is not that hard to run. Okay, For decoding up here, I have it for deep. And for the mode, I have it on FT8. Everything else you see here, the time, all that, I use a program. And somebody on the Facebook page told me that. It's called Dimension. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, and you sync it. And it syncs your computer with the UTC time. So that way you're never off. On this program it is imperative to have your time right let's see 1612 I made contact so I'm gonna open up QRZ go into log change the time Oops. 1612 
I don't remember what I sent, so I sent 15, and he sent back 14 after that. So I'm going to go with the last one. So 15 was sent, 14 was received, my watts, 20, and a comment. I always put, thank you for the contact on FT8. And then I save it. Then I go over to the right here, scroll down to actions, and I request them to confirm the contact. Because requesting the contact, they see it. They get to see that, yeah, we did make contact. Um, so that's it, guys. That's the general rundown of the WSJTX um, FT8. Um, again, that's what it sounds like. Every 15 seconds, conversations. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you. If you want a different angle on the video, um, you know, if, if you want something else, just let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you would like to. Thanks for watching.